there you go. I'm putting it down here. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna put the draggy on this timer and we're gonna see what not 60 we get on this Range Rover Sport. We've got an X3M behind us, by the way. So we'll try that first. He's coming fast now. Right, keep recording, let me get in front. He's coming, mate. He's not coming, mate. What's wrong with this guy? Come on, mate, just come a bit faster. Give me a bit of your intentions. I don't know what happens. I've, I've had... The drag is in the back, avoid that. You know, don't ignore that. But this X3M, I want to see what he's gonna do. I'm pulling in now behind this truck. Two, one. more time uh, and we're going to try and do this on lift off. Three, two, one, go. So basically the climate is raining, I put the traction off trying to get this launch off, I can't find launch control on this car and uh, it got me down to 4.7 seconds and 4.83 seconds. Now, the book figures claim 4.5 seconds, and I know if there's dry optimal conditions on a straight road, I reckon it'll do in about 4.3, 4.4 seconds. So it is marginally quicker than what they say the book figures on this car. But that's my review of this beast. And uh, if, you if you're watching, like, comment, don't forget to subscribe. Got plenty of material.